Saturday, January 12th, 2019, and... Sounds gonna work on music. It's been a fantastic day. I'm in a really good place and excited for a productive session as usual. Gonna hit the online class run, update you guys with what's going on in the Tom Merrill Master Class, start polishing off the hardcore tracking class, gonna hit a quick guitar practice, share my progress, and then I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna do with the rest of the session. I've got a little more time to work today than I was expecting. I think I'm gonna take a step back from the super stupid cover I've been hitting that really hard the last few days and uh, just take a little breather. Give my ears a break, give my body a break. I just woke up feeling fatigued this morning, so I'm just gonna lighten up a bit. And yeah, if I get in the zone, maybe I'll do some extra classwork. Maybe I will do some uh, importing of the videos that I filmed, start working on editing those together, etc., etc. But just kind of like take a lighter day in the studio today. So I'll update you guys at the end with what I accomplished. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions. Otherwise, let's get to it. Good, really super mellow day, just got into the online class run, hit the Tom Morello master class, and he was demoing out the arrangement for Bulls on Parade as he was recommending people just copy arrangements from other bands and insert your own music into it, which is, which is interesting. I'm now back caught up with the class, fortunately. And I was watching Jordan do some mixed revisions and talking about how, you know, when one player in the band, like the drummer says, oh, I want the drums louder, or the guitar player says, oh, I want the guitars louder, you know, you just usually try to get it in like the specific moments and sections where they want to hear it a little more, otherwise, like, you, you know, it's hard to turn everything up and have the mix sound any different. So, just interesting sort of like pro insights, and honestly, just so happy that I'm not dealing with that right now, <laughs> and that's the virtue of being the only person in the band, you know, it's just like, well, if I want the drums fucking louder, then they're gonna be louder, and if I don't, then they're not, and that's the end of that discussion, you know, so, uh, yeah, definitely freeing. Uh, from there, just got into a quick guitar practice, nothing major, just hitting the minor pentatonics, pun not intended, and, uh, <laughs> that was actually pretty good, and then, uh, just did a quick content fill, just was taking my time, going super, super slow today, just mellow, like, still getting work done, still in the studio, still doing my thing, still moving forward, just, you know, not pushing myself to be, like, you know, the, the baddest around on this particular day, you know what I mean? So, I've read that over time, if you listen to, you know, on days where you're feeling a little better, you do a little more, days where you're maybe not feeling it, you do a little less, that's a good thing to do. Also, sometimes I'm just in the zone where I'm like, I don't fucking care how I feel today, I'm getting this done, you know, like yesterday, it was just like push through, and that's always feels good, and then I always make sure that I balance that out at some point, just make sure that I'm not pushing myself so hard that I either start hating it, which sucks, or that I'm just burning myself out, which is also just, what is the point? The whole point of being creative and doing music is to feel better than you would if you weren't doing it, right? So, anytime I'm feeling like I'm going the opposite direction, I usually make a change. So anyway, that's where I'm at today, just a more relaxed, laid-back session. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals and enjoying the process. That's what I'm out here doing, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more. Can't wait.